Hello, 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 everyone. This is Reagan Thompson. A good day, good day, good day to you. <laughs> oh, how's your day going so far? Did you wake up on the, how do they say that? Did you wake up on the right side of the bed today? <laughs> let's, let's change the wording on that, right? Let's leave the world of duality behind. The world of right, wrong, reality, right? Bad, good, right, wrong. Some of these expressions of the daily life were created by the collective, right? This collective, perhaps unconscious. So how about, did you get up this morning, out of your bed, feeling light and bright. <laughs> Just go with something simple like that. Um, right. And if you didn't, it's okay. So we're going to work with that today. Just a little bit here for these first few minutes for some grounding work before we launch into our topic for today. So in order to get more grounded, more centered, more calm in your spirit, I'd like to use the breath to do so. That being said, I'd like for you to begin by, if you can place one or both hands over your heart if that's possible. If you also can close your eyes, that's also very helpful at this time. If you can't close your eyes and you can't put your hands on your heart because you're based on maybe driving or running or whatever we might be doing as we listen to these audios, um, it's okay. So just do what you can. Ideally, it'd be one hand over the heart at least and close your eyes. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm going to lead us through a series of five breaths. Each breath is going to be a deep breath in through your nose. At the top of the breath, I'd like you to hold it. And as you're breathing internally, you're speaking, receiving God, okay? And holding at the top just for a moment and then exhaling and on the exhale, giving God. You're saying this all kind of an internal um, sharing out loud, right? Internally. So it's... Receiving God, hold it and let it go. <sighs> Giving God. That's just an example. Okay. And on each breath, I am going to count to three and we're going to move through the breath starting right now. One, two, and three. Breathing in. Receiving God. Holding it. And giving God. <sighs> One, two, and three. Receiving God. Hold it. Bask in that stillness right there, that tranquility at the top. Letting go. Giving God. One, two, and three. Receiving God. Holding it right there. And giving God. One, two, and three. Receiving God. Hold it. And giving God. One, two, and three. Receiving God. Hold it. And giving God. <sighs> Excellent. And now just moving into a deeper normal breath, a rhythmic breath. <sighs> Becoming an observer of your breath, please. Just noticing where your breath is. Is it restricted? Is it flowing? Is it easy to breathe? Where are you at with your breath today? All right. Taking a deep breath, if it feels restricted to any part of the restriction that you're feeling, it could be a restriction within your breathing pattern. Also, you might feel a restriction even inside of a, a body part, maybe in your shoulder or your head, breathing in through into that part of your body, just working with the body now. <sighs> loosening up the breath, loosening up the body at the same time. <sighs> Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me for that breath work today. So important. I'm hoping you're feeling much more grounded and centered. We are going to launch into our beautiful topic for today, which is all around the benefits of gratitude and thankfulness. I'm in the middle of a, a, a theme within this month for the audios I'm doing, and it's all around gratitude and thankfulness. And today, I want to explore some of these benefits because 
you know, I want to explore some of these benefits because so often we are um, just kind of moving through life, right? Just going, going, going. And there's a lot of wonderful things and simple things sometimes that are happening around us that we don't even notice. And we just kind of brush on past like, oh yeah, that's great. Okay, great. Versus really expressing our thankfulness and gratitude, right? And some things are very simple. Like I'm saying this, sometimes you're a simple act of kindness, someone holding a door open for you, right? This is a something to be thankful for. Then there's this deep, profound, heart-centered energy that comes forward around, you know, wow, I'm so grateful for um, something of the heart, like uh, the sunshine or the, my breath or my mother who gave birth to me, like these deep, profound, like, wow, I really feel so grateful for that. So that being said, I've learned and I've studied as well that when we practice a life of thankfulness and gratitude, we really are opening the door to a lot uh, more healthiness in life, like more um, happiness in life, a more healthy, happy life, right? So basically gratitude, it it opens the door as well to... um, not only a greater relationship, a healthy relationship with yourself by living in this way of saying to the universe, I'm so grateful for what I have and what's been given to me. And the universe is like, wow, okay, look at that. Someone who is already grateful for what they have, now we will give them more of what they want and desire, right? This is that whole kind of idea and mindset of having a grateful um, demeanor and living gratefully in your life. And so you, your relationship with yourself starts to improve because, you, like I said, you're starting to feel happier. You're feeling sometimes more energy. You're feeling more invigorated by life because life is kind of flowing with you. You're not flowing against life. You're flowing with life. So, so also gratitude opens the door to more relationships, right? So um, showing appreciation, um, can help you with new friends, right? So uh, the study, there's a study actually out that I read about. It says that, I'm just reading it right here, that thinking about someone, even like a new acquaintance, and feeling thankful energy about them um, more likely is to create a relationship with this person that is going to be more ongoing. So meaning... You know, when you're thinking about this new person in your life and you're having this kind of inner feeling of, of feeling, um, I don't know, just thankful for them, just thankful for their beingness. <laughs> it, it literally says in this study that I read about that that will lead to a relationship that will be more long term, more ongoing. So that's pretty powerful. And so then it also says gratitude improves physical health, right? Um, and that's also within this study I was reading and I'm just going to elaborate that on, on that myself because has gratitude helped me with my health immensely. It's so interesting. I mentioned this on my last audio, but we all have the opportunity to do a practice that I love, which is the 21 or 21 day gratitude practice where you get to write down every night in a journal, 10 things that you're grateful for. These things can be expressed through, um, just simply writing it down and very simple things. Again, like I said, uh, the breath, your breath, um, the sunshine, the uh, ability for your car to get you from point A to point B, um, a, a funny, wonderful conversation you had with your child that day. These are all just examples. And so therefore, what it's been noted also as to be uh, that I've learned that gratitude as we have this immense amount of gratitude in our hearts, we start to feel like uh, more vitality in our body, more energy, uh, which can lead to greater desire to exercise and eat better. Um, We just want to live better, right? We we feel better. So gratitude kind of is like this I don't know, this beautiful medicine, this healthy medicine that we take every day if we wish to, that helps to invigorate our soul. I love that. (laughs) Right? 
Also, gratitude can improve your psychological health, which, you know, it's a... Uh, it's something to be aware of, right? We do have this psychological beingness that's going on within our mind space, right? And we have, sometimes we have um, some kind of intense emotion and we can have envy or resentment and maybe even frustration or regret, some of these kind of more toxic, intense emotions sometimes, right? And um, it says that, you know, in, in the study that I read, as well as what I'm learning right now in my own life and throughout my life, that because I've had gratitude, as well as it says in this study, I'm looking at it right now as well, that there's a link between gratitude and well-being. And it confirms that gratitude effectively increases happiness and reduces depression. Amen to that. Have you ever noticed that because it's kind of difficult, right? If you've never done a practice of gratitude, you might not know this yet. I have done a practice of gratitude. I've done it now a few times in my life. And the practice that I noted about the 21 day practice, I just want to elaborate on that a little bit more. You get to write down not only the 10 things that you are grateful for, but I also want you to take it one step further and observe yourself while having the gratitude, right? So you're writing in your journal, what was it like to, to write that, something you saw about yourself? What did you see in your um, beingness as you wrote? Maybe you were rushing, maybe you were excited, maybe you were feeling um, uneasy during the practice. Just simply just go ahead and um, write that down. By the way, if you do miss a day in this 21-day practice, please, you do need to start over. You want to do 21 days solid, right? They say it takes 21 days to break a habit. So that being said, as you do a gratitude practice or you express gratitude, you can see how it can improve your psychological well-being, right? Because your mind starts to just shift into this kind of higher frequency of beingness. It starts to become more pure. Gratitude starts to kind of take the place of all the impurity, right? Of all the, as they say, monkey mind, um, your mind's thoughts going wild. It's almost like gratitude replaces all that, which is just so beautiful and so real and so effective. Gratitude also can enhance your enhance empathy and reduce aggression, which is so cool because I do remember that in this life. You know, I remember there was times where I was having a really tough time and I was feeling actually quite resentful and angry towards certain people in my life. And I remember it's like right then somehow intuitively I knew it was time to get my gratitude journal back out. And I watched myself change around myself, number one, and the people in front of me that supposedly had this anger and resentment towards. It's like you get to start to kind of, I don't know, and in some way create this world of having more compassion because of being grateful, right? We, we see uh, the gratitude in the simplest of things and maybe it would be in the simplest of things such as even our response to the energy of people around us, right? You could have immense gratitude, like, look at me, wow, look at how I responded Amongst this, amongst this challenge that's in front of me, you know, I responded in kindness and love. I could have been angry and, and resentful and, and I chose to be in gratitude for this other way of being. So it's this really cool idea that we start to feel grateful for being empathetic, being sensitive to others. Um, and, and because we see how that helps to improve our overall um, well-being, psychological well-being, and we feel just we feel better. We don't want to live in anger and resentment anymore. In fact, we have deep gratitude for living in peace. So it's kind of this beautiful dance of finding empathy for those around you that might already be suffering and not choosing to suffer and having gratitude for not being someone who's suffering at this time, right? So it's just, it's, it's really, um, up to you. It's a choice. Are we going to show up in a, a reactive state, a resistant state, or am I going to respond if I, anytime I wish with gratitude and thankfulness. And so it also has been proven not only by any study I've ever read about gratitude, as well as by my own research within my own life is that gratitude can help make make people sleep a lot better. <laughs> right? 
Okay, so if your psychological well-being and your physical well-being starts to improve, what do you think it would feel like to sleep at night? Do you think you're going to sleep more easily and deeper, or do you think you're going to have a hard time sleeping and sleep more uneasy? I I think that personally, because I know it to be true, you're going to sleep a lot, lot better. So it's... um. A beautiful thing to do that practice before bed. Like I was saying, why not just get involved with doing that 21-day practice and see how much better you sleep? Prove it to yourself. Don't take my word for it. Prove it to yourself. And also gratitude can be a really wonderful help in boosting self-esteem. It's this idea that we sometimes feel low self-esteem when we're not being kind to ourselves or others, right? Because usually that doesn't really denote that you're going to have any really healthy relationships. <laughs> and then if you don't have healthy relationships, you might kind of feel at times this kind of, well, it's egoic, it's not really real, but you might have this feeling of feeling lonely, right? And gratitude, it it's almost like you're filling yourself up with this beautiful energy of acceptance and love for others. I mean, gratitude is like this wonderful umbrella that wraps around all of that. And that being said, it improves your relationships, your ability to have relationship. And it's, uh, helps to build confidence in yourself and your ability to, to communicate, to be able to associate with others in a loving way. Um, it lets go of competitive energy, comparison energy. And therefore, as you kind of clear away these energies inside you that are unserving and not you, inevitably so your confidence, your self-esteem, it certainly can, can increase. So it's also a powerful help in that department. And also gratitude has been proven and my own life. And I was also reading this in a study as well recently that it can also improve and increase your mental strength. Oh, yes. (laughs) So, you know, sometimes um, there's those beings out there on the planet that have experienced a lot of stress, intense stress. You might even call it post-traumatic stress. That just makes the mind just run wild. It's just like, oh, it's just like anxiety just coursing through. And... It's very, very powerful that gratitude can come in and help to start to create thankfulness and good energy in the body, even in the midst of some really tough times, even amidst of a um, an intense moment of weakness and feeling weak and feeling scared and anxious. And like I said, even post-traumatic stress, that can be just so tough to deal with. And, and then in comes this mind over matter kind of, right? It's you, well, I guess more heart over mind. <laughs> you saying, no, I'm dropping into my heart right now. I'm, 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 I'm digging deep into this place of gratitude and thankfulness. And I'm, I'm not letting my mind take me on a journey because it really is all about the mind here. As far as the, the gratitude and thankfulness practice, as far as living a life of gratitude and thankfulness, not allowing your mind to rule the show, that you become a master of your mind and you begin to mentally think about what is higher and greater of service to you, right? And so in doing so, one of the greatest practices I know is to start by saying to yourself or out loud, what am I thankful for right now? What am I grateful for? Even amidst this challenge, this stress, the, the empowerment that you feel by turning stress on its backside to being a place of thankfulness and gratitude is it's so, so cool, so powerful, so beneficial and so real. And yes, it is a practice and it needs to be practiced to get the benefits. So please practice, practice, practice. I promise you it's so worthy of your time. So thank you so much for joining me. These are just some of the benefits. There's probably more. I wanted to share some of the ones that I know that have been um, really stood out to me in my life. And through the research I've done over the years, I wanted to share some of these benefits with you because hopefully it'll inspire you 
not only to do the 21 day practice, but as well to just set your intention on a daily basis that I'm going to live a life of thankfulness and gratitude today. What would that be like? You wake up in the morning today, I'm going to live a life of thankfulness and gratitude. That is my hope. That is my wish. Please, let's all do that. Can you imagine our plan if we did? How different it would be. That being said, I'd like to move us into a closing prayer. Please, if you would, if you can, close your eyes. Thank you so much. We're going to close out in prayer. Taking a deep breath. (sighs) Moving into prayer. So I thank you. I thank you. I thank you so very much, Mother, Father, God, for this beautiful, divine, blessed day. In this day, in this moment, this present moment right now, I feel so much gratitude for myself, for this life, for my breath, for the simplest of things. I know that me being here as a soul in a body, it is a huge gift. I know there are many souls right now lined up to get into this planet, and I'm one of the the blessed ones that is here right now. I am grateful and thankful even amongst times of challenge, Mother, Father, God, Goddess. For I know that challenge and sometimes uncomfortable energy is there to teach me something about myself, about my life. So I'm even grateful and thankful for challenge and for stress. I know what's important about this, Mother, Father, God, Goddess, is that I I choose to respond to these energies rather than run and react and resist them anymore in my life. I ask you, Mother, Father, God, God, is for courage, for strength, for bravery as I walk forward and I choose to be my lightest, brightest self, living a life of thankfulness and gratitude. Thank you so much. And with these words, I say, and so it is. Take a slow and deep breath. (sighs) Ah. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. It's been such an honor and a pleasure and a privilege to do this work with you. I hope this was helpful for you. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much. Blessings.